Hi, first graders. Today we are doing our compare and contrast lesson for the week on the two texts that we've been reading, Shadow Puppets and Sounds I Love. So we're going to be looking at these two texts and comparing some things about them and doing our double bubble map. So you need to make sure you have your double bubble map out so that we can do that together. And I have the two texts that we need here. So let's first go back and look at Sounds I Love. So remember, when we compare and contrast two different texts, we want to look at the different features of the text and see how they are the same and how they are different. So the first thing we're going to look at today is the graphic features in each text. Are they the same type? Are they photographs? Are they pictures? Let's take a look in Sounds I Love. We have photographs. There's a fire truck and then a horse and a boy, and those are pictures. Let's check out shadow puppets. In shadow puppets, these are illustrations. They're not photographs, they're illustrations. And these pictures are actually showing us some of the steps that we needed to do to make a shadow puppet. Okay, so those two types of illustrations are different. We have drawings here and we have photographs on the first page. So let's record that on our chart. So Sounds I Love had photos and Shadow Puppets had illustrations. Another thing that we can look at is the type of text. Are these two texts the same type of text? Sounds I Love was a poem. It had rhyming words. And Shadow Puppets was a procedural text. It gave us instructions about how to do something. Those are two different types of texts. So let's record that on our chart. Sounds I Love is a poem. Shadow Puppets was a procedural text. You can also write a how-to. Let's think about some other information that we have to compare these two texts. What were they about? Shadow puppets was about light. Remember, our unit is about sound and light. So the topic for shadow puppets was light. What was the topic in Sounds I Love? Move. It was about sounds, so we can record that. Can you think of any other ways that these texts are different? You could add your own bubble if you think of another way. Now let's think about how both of the texts are the same. Do they have any things that were similar about them? Let's check. They did both mention animals because the shadow puppets are about animals here and we heard about animal sounds. So they both mention animals. Can you think of some other way that they're the same? They both talk about things that have to do with senses, right? We talked about how Sounds I Love is about sounds and Shadow Puppets is about light, but both of those have to do with our senses. So we can add that. And now we need one more way that these texts are similar. <coughs> we did talk about how 
the graphic features are different. This had photographs and this had illustrations, but they do both have graphic features that help the reader to understand what the text is about. The photographs help us understand what a fire truck in the city looks like and what the country looks like. The illustrations in shadow puppets help us to understand how to place our hands if we're making shadow puppets and where to put the light. So in both texts, the graphics help us learn. Okay, that's it, you guys. Thanks for comparing and contrasting with me. I just realized I covered this up again, sorry. I'll leave it up here for a minute if you need to add anything to your double bubble map. And I will see you guys next time for our next reading lesson.